Well, cool. Well, Roman, hey, thanks again for taking a minute out. Before we get into your life and what makes you who you are, how did you get through COVID? You know, the last three years, we're coming out of it now. How did you survive it? How has it changed the way that you conduct business now? Yeah, great question. So honestly, Joe, like how I, you know, personally dealt in um, with COVID throughout that time when that was hitting, you know, really hard and especially where I'm at, like a lot of things shut down. A lot of people just lost their jobs or their businesses, or at the very least, their businesses slowed down dramatically. How I dealt with it, having caught COVID myself, I just tried to stay eating healthy and active. I would actually try to find gyms that were still open, <laughs> even though most of them, if not pretty much all of them, were shut down at that time. So I just tried to, you know, just hit my local gyms where I could, but eventually all the gyms shut down. So I just resorted to working out just in my home garage, basically. And yeah, I just stayed eating organic and stuck to that. I also made sure to try to, you know, get enough sleep and yeah, just not let that fear of getting COVID, you know, affect me in my daily life and how I uh, handled my business. Cause I used to do in-person uh, personal training. And so how I handled that with COVID and all, all the negative impacts, you know, that it had on business was I resorted to online fitness coaching. And that actually, that helped a lot. Yeah. So it was really, really good because a lot of people were at home during quarantine and it was hard for them to want to just get out and, you know, be fit because everywhere was shut down. Yeah. And so a lot of people were facing depression and potentially even loneliness if they were, you know, living alone. So just being stuck at, you know, at home with the four walls, it was kind of hard for a lot of people. But yeah, doing the online fitness coaching was really rewarding because it helped my business personally, because I was able to help people out even without a gym and just to really just give them out um, at home workouts, basically. And also another good thing too was it was nice seeing them just be mentally helped and just have their mental state improve dramatically alongside their physical state. So let's get into exactly what you do for a living. I'm going to put you in front of a bunch of third graders at a career day, okay? Okay. One of them looks up and asks, what do you do for a living? How do you answer them? Yeah, so I would just say, you know, I am predominantly a high performance and fitness coach. So I do acting and modeling on the side, but those are more side hustles. But what I do for a living is I just help people transform their minds and bodies both so they can feel better, look better and really just have more self-confidence in themselves. So you obviously have a mix of being, you know, staying in shape and helping the mental stasis of people along with being a performer and being in the arts. Go back to where you were born and raised. How did all these seeds get planted in you to become who you are? Yeah, yeah, that's a great question. So how it all started was I was born in Toledo, Ohio. So totally different region of the uh, United States. Yeah. And so I was born there. I'm 25. So I was born in 1998. And yeah, and then I grew up, you know, about five, six years in Perrysburg in about a suburb of Toledo. And then my dad's job actually took us all the way from way up there to Arkansas. And he had his um, job in computer programming. And so it moved him from Toledo for his work to Little Rock, the capital yeah. of Arkansas. And so I grew up most of my life here since. And honestly, just seeing my grandpa just pass away due to cancer and just the unhealthy eating habits he had with consuming a lot of excess sugars and yeah, just stuff like that. And just not being active and not really taking care of his mind and body. And obviously it was a very depressing, challenging thing for me to just deal with and see. And then seeing him, you know, just at the funeral, it, it really took a toll on me emotionally. And I was like, you know what, this is not easy. I don't, I don't want this for myself. And if I ever would have kids or anything like that, I would not want them to go down that same exact path that he did. So I turned to fit, uh, physical fitness mainly for that. And then seeing my brother when I was 15, he started lifting weights. And just seeing that physical transformation on his physique, that definitely just inspired me tremendously. Yeah. Sometimes we get those positive and negative examples around us, things that we just want to 
take care of and and generationally reverse, so to speak. You know? Yeah, that's a it's a big deal. So, who's been kind of a role model for you in your life? Who's been kind of a hero? Yeah. So honestly, I would have to say my biggest role model and my biggest hero. I know it sounds pretty cliche being like <laughs> a fitness buff and a fitness influence influencer, but Arnold Schwarzenegger. It would have to be Arnold Schwarzenegger. I mean, seeing like all the stuff he did, especially with the acting and fitness stuff and bodybuilding and then all the other things he did, uh, investing, being in politics, running as governor. Like that was that was crazy. Yeah. Seeing all of that. So if you could meet anybody alive right now, would it be him? Who would it be? Who would you like to meet and talk to? Anyone and anyone. Okay. Yeah. I would have to honestly, I would have to say. You know, that's that's a great question. So I've met a lot of celebrities throughout my, you know, pursuits in acting and modeling, but I would have to say, honestly, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Just for those very reasons. I mean, all the stuff he was involved in and seeing that documentary that just came out on Netflix to you, that yeah. was that's yeah. pretty cool. It's just really neat seeing all the things he did. And not only did he do all those things, but he did all those things pretty well too. Yeah. Yeah. He's so certainly yeah, did. just seeing that. Yeah, it's quite a story. So what is it that ultimately motivates you every day? You know, we've talked about how you've gotten to where you're at now, but what has been the motivator? What really drives you through a day? Yeah, so what really gets me and drives me through a day when I wake up, it's really just thinking of all the things I'm grateful for and all the things I've accomplished and then all the just big major goals that I want to achieve for myself and my future. And honestly, do you just the passion for wanting to build a legacy for any, you know, future family members that I might have if they're, you know, a wife, kids, or just other people, you know, throughout my family to you and, and friends. So speaking of things that you want to do and that you have done, what, what are you the proudest of? The th what is the thing you've done so far that you're the proudest of? Yeah, I'd have to say my, the thing that I'm the proudest of right now, I would say it's, you know, meeting celebrities and that's great. But I would actually have to say just helping the clients that I've had. I mean, I know it sounds like crazy to think, oh, well, why would you not say, you know, meeting the celebrity or celebrity B or celebrity C? Well, those were cool things. But helping my current clients get to where they're at now from where they once were, like, that is like the most important thing. And I would never, ever give anything back for that in the world. So what's been your best client success story so far? Yeah, so um, she'll she'll love this. <laughs> but <laughs> she's my current client. Her name's Pamela, and she dropped about 30 pounds already. And she used to weigh 200 plus pounds. And she's already, you know, below 170. And she is feeling better. Her uh, father died, actually, of, you know, obesity and just not, you know, taking care of himself, sadly. But she actually saw that. It's it's crazy. We're actually kind of similar. But she saw that as inspiration to want to get in better shape and just look and feel better for herself. Yeah. And so, yeah, she she signed up under me, you know, as a client. And ever since, I mean, she's she looks so much better. She has more energy. She's stronger. She's leaner. And yeah, she feels like she can take on the world now. <laughs> it's, it's really cool. Yeah, that's cool. Well, you talked about goals down the line. What's one of your biggest goals that you're looking forward to as time spreads out, say five, 10 years from now? Yeah, definitely. So I would have to say my biggest goal, I have a lot of them, but my very biggest one right now that comes to mind would have to be opening up a gym. That's, nice. that's a huge one. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. So everyone out there has a perception of you. You have all these pockets. You have your clients, you have family, friends, colleagues, but you run the show. What's your perception of you? Who do you think you are? I, I believe that I, Roman Fisher, I'm a young guy first and foremost, but I'm ambitious. I'm resilient. I'll overcome anything and anything and everything that comes my way, no matter the challenge, whether it's small or super big. And I believe I'm multi-talented. And as long as I really, really focus on it and put my mind to the task, I'll accomplish it as long as I focus hard enough and work hard enough. 
Right on. So if anyone wants to hire you, learn more about you, where do they go? Where's the best place? Oh yeah. So if anyone wants to learn more about me and what I do uh, personally and specifically, all you got to do is go to romanfisherofficial.com. <laughs> I like it. Cool. Roman, this has been great, man. Thank you for opening up. Best of luck with everything. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. It, it was great. Yeah. Hopping on and just going over everything with you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. No, this should give everybody a good flavor and taste for what you do and how you roll. So yeah, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, most definitely. I appreciate it too, Joe. It's, it's been cool. great. Absolutely, man. Thank you. Have a great day. No doubt. You too. See ya. Bye.